potato breakfast. I don't believe it. His brute strength must have bent the bars apart. The gorilla is on the loose. Julia! Oh, 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 oh. Are you all right, Mrs. Rocket? Oh. Yes, I. I thought I saw that terrifying girl, Harriet Hyde. She's not here, is she? Oh, no, Mrs. Rocket. Oh, that Harriet Hyde must be preying on my mind more than I thought. What? You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. Oh, who was that? He didn't say. Oh, but Mumsy, I'm in terrible trouble. Whatever's the matter, Memphis, you can tell me. I'm your Mumsy. Oh, that phone call was the Department of Education telling me they're going to test head teachers. Tested for what? Uh, old age, like MOT? No, teaching. They want to find out if head teachers can still teach. Oh. What am I going to do? I hate teaching. That's why I became a head teacher, to get out of doing it. Well, you'll just have to get back into it. What? Let's take a class, any class. Get out there, do it now. Oh, but the children frighten me. Well, you just have to show them who's boss. Are you a man or a mouse? Squeak. Oh, here we are. Mr. Bliss is teaching a class of wild animals. Wild animals? They'll tear me limb from limb. Oh, no, you nana. About wild animals. Oh, which class is it? A uh, uh, 4B. No. The dreaded Blister Sisters, they'll tear me limb from limb. And Julia Jekyll, you'll be quite safe there, Memphis. That girl is good behaviour personified and she never changes. Now, come along. No. Come along. No, Mumsy, I don't want come to. Along. No, Mumsy, I don't want to. No! Right. Wild animals are so called because they live in the wild. Yes, Roger? Why are they still called wild animals when they live in a zoo? Because... Because... Oh, stop asking stupid questions now. Yes, Jekyll? I believe it's because they're still wild in spirit, sir. As the poet Shelley said, wild spirit which art moving everywhere. Oh, did she? Well, she wouldn't have said that if she taught you lot. She would have said, shut up! No! Oh, Yo, blister old dude! Head teacher? Yeah, you can stand down. Your head is taking over. What's the matter with it? <laughs> no, this head. Me! I'm here to take this lesson. Yeah! No, but just be cool. You can stay and watch if you like. And learn how a good teacher teaches. <laughs> Thank you, Mumsy. OK, Mr Blister. For anything you say, Ed. All right. Right, cats and kittens, dudes and dudorinos, on the educational menu today is... Wild animals, sir. Wild man. Well done, man, just keep it up. Right. Now, what do we mean by wild animals? Are hamsters wild? Yes, sir. No, they're not. Well, mine was. She bit my granny. We had to put her down. You had to have your granny put down just because your hamster bit her? No, we had the hamster put down. It was foaming at the mouth. Was it mad? I wasn't too pleased. Oh, my <laughs> God. Right on. Now, let's look at things another way. Roger, what are you doing? Looking at things another way, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. What we have to do is try and get inside the spirit of these animals. Commune with their natures. Feel their auras, man. So, I want you all to be wild animals. Yeah? Be! <laughs> Unusual. How oh, good! Did you hear that? She thought I was good! Yes! She was being polite. She thought you were a class, as did the rest of the class. What? How do you speak to my son in that way? Easily, because he's a whip with a backbone of a banana. Oh. That was the most disgraceful display of so-called teaching I've ever seen in my life. In fact, a gorilla can have done a better job. Well, really? I'm going to clear my head in the playground! Oh, Oh, no! 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 Oh,
I'm going to be more assertive. I'm going to be more assertive. There. Now I can handle anything that anyone says to me. A gorilla in the playground! I can handle anything that anyone says to me. Even that. It must be Harriet Hyde. Was. She wasn't wearing any clothes. Mumsy, I think you ought to go to the sand and lie down. But I saw it. Of course you didn't. Now come along, have a little stroll. You'll see, there isn't any gorilla. Just say, yes. We have no gorillas. We have no gorillas today. Wow! We'll teach you to be so clever with your smelly shelly. Knowledge is power, blisters. So are my fists. You're about to discover what wild spirit needs. Look behind you! There's a gorilla! Oh, you're not gonna fall with that old trick! <laughs> It wasn't so much a criticism of your teaching technique, Head. Well, what was it then? It was just my saying what I thought. Oh, thank you, Mr. Blister. Oh, the gorilla! Uh, oh, not again! <laughs> it's got a handbag. What's it got a handbag for? Maybe it wants to powder its nose. <laughs> If Julie Jekyll says there is, then there must be. Now that's discrimination. Show me this gorilla! You show him! Come on! Well, where's this gorilla? There he is! Phone 999, phone Julia's parents, but don't alarm them. What shall I say? Well, we'll tell them their daughter's been grabbed by a gorilla. No! Oh. Oh. Uh, we got your message, but we didn't quite understand it. Something about Julia being grabbed by a gorilla. We were sure we must have misheard it. Yeah, I mean, after all, you don't find gorillas round here. Uh, by the way, where's Julia? Up there, with the gorilla. <laughs> There's a time and a place for this sort of thing. Maybe this is both. Why is that gorilla wearing a dress all of a sudden? Oh, well, maybe it's going to a party. That creature looks more like Harriet Hyde. The new girl. Head teacher. Oh, hey, that's me, man. I'm from the zoo. My men will hold the fireman's blanket ready down here. I'll go up there, throw the gorilla off the roof, and they will catch it in the blanket. Then we'll persuade it to go back to the zoo. Oh. <laughs> right, men, get the ladder. Actually, we're not sure if it's the gorilla or one of our pupils. Look, you're no oil painting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, Guido. No need to be frightened. It's time to go home. Uh, listen. Do you mind awfully if we talk this thing through? <laughs> You're talking. Of course I'm talking. Catch him! Oh, wonderful, dude! Oh, uh, the gorilla spoke to me. Spoke? Concussion head, it scrambles the brain. Right. I'm going up to rescue Julia. Oh! Yay! Come back! Oh, no! Here comes Dad! You better not see me like this. Don't worry, Julia. I'm here to rescue you. Chat! <gasps> Help! I'm stuck! Oh. I can't stand.
Wrong height! Oh, well done! Three cheers for the bravest girl in the school! Hooray, hooray, hooray! You know, I felt I was about to fight King Kong up there. What have you done with our gorilla? Uh, uh, it must be around here somewhere. Oh, don't worry. We'll find it. <coughs> Hello. 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 I just thought I'd let you know that Guido's back. Yes, he just came rushing back and jumped in his cage. The poor chap seems terrified, like, like he's been frightened by someone. The gorilla is back in his cage. Oh. Right, men, back to the zoo. Thanks Bye. a lot. Bye. Bye. You know, I'm not sure there really was a gorilla here today. Or was it Harriet Hyde? Oh, no. There was a gorilla there, all right. Yeah, and Julia should know. After all, she was face to face with it. And Julia would know the difference between a gorilla and Harriet Hyde. You can say that again. After all, 